I can tell it's going to be a good day because when I walked in, I saw these stools and I was like, oh my God, somebody's painting stools. It's me. I was the one painting stools. I mean, it was Friday in all fairness. I did totally forget that I was working on those, but it is what it is. Anyways, welcome back. It is... Tuesday now I didn't vlog yesterday because I just didn't <laughs> so I will insert the only clip I took yesterday because it was a very important mail delivery well hello I'm not vlogging today so I'll just insert this in I guess probably tomorrow's vlog but I just got back from my walk and I had lunch and a package came for me which was not supposed to come till Thursday but here it is <laughs> uh yeah so I just want to share it's a pack of 150 embroidery floss <laughs> it's been on my save for later list for ages but a lady that i work with ordered it and i asked her what the quality was like and she said it was pretty good and the numbers match the dmc numbers which i don't really care about but you know it's nice to know so um yeah one of the biggest complaints i heard about this was that they didn't actually give 150 different colors but i mean Just a cursory glance at it. They look like there's quite a few different colors, which is, I'm so excited, which is very nice. So, yeah. <laughs> Excessive? I think so. What we'll probably be doing over the next couple of days is um, winding these so that they're actually on little cardboard bobbins. <laughs> because, yeah, that's one that's just giving me a mess and two it's impossible to store and three I got the extra container right down here in anticipation for these showing up so yeah that's what I'm up to today and then after I opened that I spent the majority of the day winding them onto cardboard bobbins which took ages like I think it took me five hours to do about 50 that's like 10 an hour, so six minutes per bobbin. That's ridiculous. Maybe it wasn't quite that long, but it, it felt like much, much longer. But I'm out of bobbins, and that was the problem facing me, and so I ended up just stopping because I couldn't do anymore, and I embroidered a little bit. But honestly, yesterday, I was like, I'm gonna do laundry, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna get my life in order, and I woke up, I edited the vlog, I went for a walk, I ate lunch, the embroidery floss showed up, still haven't done laundry in case you're wondering which is terrible because these work pants of mine I'm sure they're disgusting it's fine they're covered in paint and bleach anyways no one will notice but the plans for today are to finish painting those stools they need another coat and then I wrote a giant list of maintenancey things that I need to get done at some point I wrote it on Friday so I'll work on that and then various other things and so I'm thinking like easily a five-hour shift today if not more and then I think I'm gonna try to swing by the fabric store and see if they're open because I am running out of fabric to embroider with. I set up a bunch of hoops the other day if you remember like a bunch of d20s and then I just used the mostly the regular fabric I'm used to but yesterday I started an eight inch piece was it eight inches I'm pretty sure it's eight inches and I was using one of those fabrics it's like a white so it's like pretty similar to what I've been using but it's you can't get the tension as good and I hate it so that's good to know I do however have a swatch of my favorite fabric in my wallet so hopefully I can find that I need to pick up more cardboard bobbins of course because otherwise we're a disaster and if I can find another case for my embroidery floss I think I need it because I'm running out of space but I've been rambling long enough I'm gonna have my breakfast drink because I'm quite hungry and, um, and then get to work starting with that I think I don't know I don't know oh no oh no oh no oh no Oh no! <laughs> I went shopping today and also stuff came in the mail. <laughs> so, let's just open things because opening things is exciting. This should be from an Etsy store um, by Kai Studios and it's some Harry Potter stickers which I'm very excited about. Also like that's the cutest envelope ever. Ooh, 10% off my next purchase. Anyways, I wanted to get a Ravenclaw sticker for my laptop 
and it was only a little bit more to get all four house stickers and so I figured they'd be like fun gifts to give out. So there's Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, which is where it's at, and Slytherin. Also the quality of these feel really good. So I'm very excited to put the Ravenclaw one on my laptop. I'm like the person who never wants to put things on my laptop because I'm like, oh no, it needs to stay pretty. But this girl I work with, she her entire laptop was just covered in stickers, like outside, inside from her travel and everything. And I was like, that's so cool, but that's not me. And then for Christmas, Strudel's mom sent me a card with a sticker that says, hold on, I see a dog in a, like a speech bubble. And I was like, this needs to go on my laptop. So that was the start of it. Who knows how much further it'll go, but that was the start. I also got this, which should be my bras, which it's exciting to me. Your day just got better. The company I ordered from is called NYX, K-N-I-X, and they send you a very nice uh, wash bag. Looks like there's also like, are those, oh, a measuring tape, I guess, in case you get the wrong size. I got this spring patterned bra here. It's the padded V-neck evolution bra. And then I got this one. <laughs> I know, so exciting, but it's very exciting to me, like I said, because bras and me. Ugh. Anyways, I'm sitting down here because I'm so uncomfortable from crouching. All right, so today I finally went to the fabric store because I needed more cardboard bobbins mostly, but also I want to get fabric because I'm getting low on my reserves and going out to Blind Channel. I don't want to run out of things to embroider. I probably overdid it, but it's fine. I got some fat quarters from like quilting in like white and with black pattern which I thought would be fun because it's not too too busy and I figured I could still put something on there and then I got a couple colored ones as well we'll see how that goes I picked up 200 cardboard bobbins because I still have a hundred from my shipment that I got yesterday and I have 50 coming in the mail at some point and then I also bought 17 more today um, mostly I want it more black and I want it some variegated because I don't have any variegated and then this color just spoke to me it's really pretty so that's exciting and then I picked up this nice purple color it was a remnant I paid like six bucks for it and it's a meter and a half oh look there's another variegated guy <laughs> I also got this just nice white it's very similar to what I have been using uh, better than the current white I have and like I said, very similar to this. I brought my swatch, very similar to that. I also found some stuff in the remnant that's very similar. Oh, when we went remnant shopping, I got some velvet. I don't even know how well this will work to embroider on, but it's so pretty. I got some elastic because I want to make scrunchies. I think this might be too thick, but we'll see. I got this, it's like a cream with some little flowers on it. I don't know if you can really see it. And I got another purple. Like I said to my mom, today was a day of purple because I got two purples and then the velvet purple. And that's everything I got from the fabric store. I went to a fabric line. They were very nice there. Uh, they like three people in at a time, locked the door. And yeah, they were really good and really helpful. So cool. And then I went to Walmart and I got another pajama shirt <laughs> because I love sloths. Let me sleep in. It's like, I wish that was me this morning. So I got that. And then they also had not the shorts that I love and have, but they had very comparable ones. So I bought them in this blue and white. I bought them in black and I bought them in olive green. <laughs> now I'm good for shorts. <laughs> and then they actually had thinner elastic there. So this is thin enough. Uh, it's like a eighth of an inch, which is what my ribbon is that I've been using. So I could technically use this for masks, but also for scrunchies. And then last, the other thing that I knew I desperately needed, it's not cute. It's not as cute as the ones that I have, but this will hold more thread. <sighs> so yeah, that's, that was what happened. We also had to mail something for my grandma and stop by the grocery store. So <sighs> I have now made a mess everywhere. Anyways, I need to do laundry. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about that today. And so I'm going to clean up this mess a bit, figure out what laundry I need to do because I think I have more than one load and I just want to do one, so I'll go through that. And then do that and then figure out the rest of the day, which is going to comprise of a lot of these. We've got chairs everywhere. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the vlog. It is the next day. I um, basically died yesterday, so 
I decided I had to do laundry, so I finally did laundry, so please congratulate me because it was about a week overdue and two weeks since I had done it last. It was bad, I couldn't even do it all, but I did laundry, I wound bobbins for a bit, and then I went for a nice five and a bit K walk, and then I came home and I was cooking dinner, and because I had gone for a walk, my breathing wasn't the greatest because, you know, that's how my breathing is after I exercise. And then my mom came by me and she had just smoked and I had such bad allergic reaction that I was dying. Um, I had to take allergy medicine. And I think cause like my heart rate was up from the walk, like the allergy medicine kicked in way faster than it normally does. And I'm like at the dinner table doing like the head nod um, and also still like not breathing the greatest. Anyways, I survived, <laughs> but for the rest of the night, I just wound a couple more bobbins and I went to sleep early, so there was no vlogging to be had. But back at the theater now, I've moved these chairs uh, out of this room here because it's time to paint some walls in there. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do today. It's probably gonna take a while because it's, it's a decent sized room. <laughs> Like, it's not giant, but, and I'm not doing the top part, I'm just doing the lower part, but you know, it's, there's a fair amount of wall space in here. This is the mother's room, by the way. It's uh, basically for people who have screaming kids or whatnot. <laughs> uh, the, the music and everything plays in there via speaker, but. I'm going to go have my breakfast drink and then get ready to start the day and um, I will see you hopefully more often today than yesterday. I just realized that I have not picked up the camera since first thing this morning and it is 5 o'clock. I worked until 1, I came home, I did some bobbin winding which is what I'm doing again. Actually, I had lunch first and I did that and then I went for a walk, got up to 6k today and a little bit so that's exciting. I am still a little flush from that. I'm just cooling down, drinking some water, and um, I need to deal with that. <laughs> it's real bad over there. But I'll get to that eventually. Nothing exciting has happened, honestly. Like, the most exciting thing has been the bobbin winding because the colors are so pretty. Like, look how nice they are. I still obviously, obviously, have to organize them by actual colors and everything because uh, I also have these three over here and then that one there which is of course the one I picked up yesterday it's not as cute as the other ones but it'll be functional and that's really all I need uh but yeah I am quite warm but you know it is what it is I'm gonna wash my face here soon because I do have sunscreen on because trying to protect my visage and my skin I'm getting quite the interesting tan lines over here I don't know it's not there we go it's more noticeable there um, so that'll be fun to deal with going forward, but we're all good. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to keep winding and then see where the day takes me. I'd love to get back to doing some embroidery, but I still have all these <laughs> and all the greens. <laughs> and then I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I have like another 50 schemes coming in the mail. <laughs> Whoops. I am so happy to report that I finally finished winding bobbins. It was like three days worth of doing. <laughs> oh. I still need to organize them, but they're so pretty. Look at all them. Anyways, yeah, organization comes next. But I, but I think before I get into organizing those, I need to organize my room, which includes folding my laundry, which is not happening today, and um, doing another load of laundry. But. Oh, it feels so nice to just have that done because now if I want to embroider, I can just pick any color I want instead of wondering, hmm, should I be winding instead? So that's exciting. <laughs> and now, like I said, I can get back to other projects and I can try some of the new fabric I got and all that fun stuff because I have not embroidered in like three days. Like I embroidered a little bit the night I got the floss, I think. I think it was that night um, and not since then. So huh. anyways. I'm going to stack those all back up and pile them where they're supposed to be and then um, continue watching Psych. I've moved on to Psych and then I'll probably get ready for bed here soon because it is 10 to 10 and going for a walk like every day it's starting to make me tired at a reasonable time which is awesome but I'm gonna go for now 
and I will check in with you hopefully in short order when I'm like in my PJs and ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Alrighty, well it is now the end of the night. Well, it's 20 after 10. I'm gonna try to go to sleep. I'm, I'm getting a tan. Look at that. Get a tan. It's very exciting. Um, I'm also borderline getting shin splints. It's like cusp. It's on the cusp. At night, I'm like, oh, they're coming, and then in the morning, they're usually fine. But better be careful about that because I've definitely upped my walking game significantly over the last like three weeks. But it's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. It was so hot in my room last night. I went to sleep at like 10 something. I woke up at 12.30 just melting. So hopefully it won't be the same tonight. Fingers crossed. But I'm going to try it and tomorrow I'm going to work again. So maybe we'll keep vlogging. A different vlog. This has already been two days of like what did I even do. So, <laughs> but um, thanks for coming along through and I'll see you next time. <laughs>